my hood, best dress Next day, no gray, who's next? Rich boy, got him on deck Good boy, tell that nigga fresh eye Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't joined the Black Envy movement, what are you doing? Click subscribe, click the notification bell to make sure you get notified every time I post a new video. So today I am giving you the glam. Mm. I am giving you glam all the way. And this glossy red lip takes the icing off the cake. You guys can't even front like, This look, the hair, the curls, the nails, it's just giving me date night vibes, okay? So you know I had to get the girls ready. February is around the corner. We all know what that means. So keep on watching to see how I achieve this whole look and pull it together as well as if you're interested in a wig like this, link will be down below is one of the Black MV closure wigs so take advantage all links will be down below so keep on watching to see how i achieve this wonderful sexy glam look okay see you in my next video so guys today we're coming back with another makeup look okay i'm feeling real berry red vibes today i don't know but that's exactly how i'm feeling so we're just going to see how this goes um i don't have really a particular look in mind but i'm really feeling real like i want a glossy lip today i don't want to do matte or a nude i just want something red and glossy so i'm gonna go on the basis of that <laughs> Okay, and today I'm wearing my closure wig by Black Envy. This is in the 24 and uh, 22 inch. So you guys, the link will be down below and you can get it today and all that good stuff. So let's get sorted. You guys already know the vibe, you already know or kind of have the idea of what products I'm using if this is not the first time on this channel. But if it is, click the subscribe button because if you haven't, what are you doing? Join the Black Envy movement, okay? Let's get them subscribers up. Let's get these views up. Thumbs up for this quality, period. So you guys won't be seeing all up and closing these today but listen the goal is to be creative the goal is to be flawless the goal is to be put together for the girls for 2021 so let's get started so first today I'm gonna be using my knickknack uh, New York 24k gold face primer it looks like that they have this in two versions they have the oil formula formula for the primer but I am not this guy anyway. I am not a person who has dry face. So therefore I had to go for the hydrate illuminate and it has like little gold flakes in it. This is like my second bottle. This isn't like ultimately my favorite primer. So that's what we're gonna start off with as the base for our face. We're just gonna massage that all in there. Now, one thing I like about this primer is that it's not sticky as well, and you can just really massage it into the skin. So it does have like kind of like a gooey uh, substance, but it's not sticky. If that makes sense, but yes. So next part we're going to go into is the Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Concealer Corrector in the color Dark Hazel just to cover some of my dark marks and under my eyes because we're doing a kind of a dramatic look so I want the makeup to really set 
really, really well. Gotta cover the, the, the lip hair, okay? A little peach fuzz. Um, we in the house, so I don't feel the need to really remove it, but it is what it is. Okay. Now that we blend that well, we're gonna go into one of my favorite foundations, which is the Kiss Pro Touch Drop Foundation in the color Chestnut. It's one of my favorite foundations of 2020. So we're just gonna apply it all over the face. Next, I'm gonna be taking my L Grey, my, my L Grey, what, what? My LA Curl Brow Pomade in the color Soft Black. This is literally my holy grail of things or products I love using on my brows. A little bit, a little bit goes a long way. Believe it or not, I used to use eyeshadow and I used to mix like the jet black shadow and a dark brown to fill in my brows. I still kind of do that if depending on the clients and I don't have the perfect tone for their brows and it would last all say. But ever since I found that pomade, there was no need for sis anymore, okay? It's amazing. Next, I'm going in with my Ruby Kisses HD Concealer and Foundation in the color Fawn just to clean up under my brows. It's so disrespectful. So today I'm gonna be using a few palettes I haven't used on my channel. And this is by NK. Obviously I use a lot of their products. So I found these like Huda Beauty Dupe little small palettes. I'm gonna call them quads because it's not like four colors. There's like nine shades. I had to do like that quick math real quick. You saw that? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be using these two um, just because I told you I'm feeling like very berry, very red, kind of like a burgundy, blonde. whatever is along these colors we're using today. So I'm using birthday cake and poison apple as well as I will be pulling out because I'm always using my Marshall palette and I know sometimes we just look like, like girl, we ain't got nothing else. So I'm also pulling on my BH Cosmetic Take Me Back to Brazil. Y'all remember when this palette was popping? I mean, everybody in their mama on YouTube was using this palette to the point I really thought the shades in this palette were actually bigger, but they weren't. They're like really small. I think that was another reason why. I haven't used this palette often because like the shade uh, pans are so small and I'm so used to Julia's place and other palettes being at least a little medium but this will do today okay so I'm gonna go into birthday cake first and I'm gonna use this yellow shade in the middle on near the brow area just to start like you know, the transition into the crease. And when you're using like yellow shades, especially on our darker complexion, you wanna always make sure you're patting it in instead of like the blending motion. You wanna really like set 
that baby in so it can be as apparent as possible. So we're gonna go into this top shade on birthday, um, birthday cake palette by NK. But I'm really feeling like maybe I should go into Poison Apple and get in this shade, this shade right here. It's kind of like a reddish orange. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this instead just to really give it a pop and then probably go back into that palette. I'm gonna get my smaller blending brush and really swirl that baby in there. Start blending in the crease area. I don't know if I'm speaking mad low, but we're gonna work on it. We're gonna work on it. So just like that yellow, I wanna just position this shade before I start blending it in, just so I can really have the color concentrate where I want it to concentrate. This color is really pretty. I had these palettes, I bought four, and if you watch my last uh, Dollar Tree haul, I think it was, from months before, probably like five months, where I had the really glossy red with the gold eye, I bought one of the other palettes, but I, have, I bought a bulk of them, like probably five of them, I haven't actually used them. So I'm really happy I'm pulling it out today. It looks really beautiful. Just look at that. Now we got that, I'm really feeling it and it don't even look like nothing right now. Like, that's the crazy part. It looks nothing right now, but it's looking fabulous. Like, ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna carve out my make-believe lids because obviously I don't have enough lid space, so we're gonna make it work. I'm gonna go in with my NYX concealer palette in the color Deep Profonde. All right. Because when you carve out your lids, you want to make sure that you get a creamy concealer instead of a liquid concealer. Because a liquid concealer could be a little uh, messy because it's too loose of a concealer. But if it's creamy, it actually stays in place and your eyeshadow can stick better. So remember that. So I'm going to just probably go in with this little shade right here. Get a flat concealer brush. Just carve it out and make sure you take your time carving it out to make sure it's in the right place. Carved out the lids. I don't know. 
I'm starting to feel like a, a nice nude right here with some glitter. I haven't used glitter in God knows how long, but I kind of, as I said before, I kind of want to go all out. So I am going to apply this nude all over the lid right here. And this nude has like a pink undertone, so I think it would be real cute. And make sure you pat your eyeshadows in, guys. I'm telling you. Just to give the eye a pop. See guys, don't don't come for me. Okay. I just love this palette. And because it's a press uh, glitter, you don't have to like put adhesive or anything. So I'm just gonna put it on my real lid. look it's a serious look I did not mean for it to look like that but February is close y'all so okay so now I'm gonna go into my Saharan palette right here I feel like I've never brought this palette out but I, I do have others and I'm gonna use Iman the silver color right here and really put it in my inner corner too much on my highlight and contour I only use these products which is my NK perfection multi-use concealer okay and the shade six seven and eight all together starting with six up to eight here then I will be using my Maybelline concealer in the color uh, medium number 25 just for the inner corners just to really give it a pop of highlight and then I will be contouring with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Truffle. So let's get this portion on the roll because this is when everything starts coming together.
Next, I'm going in with I Bake You Happy by Sister. This is my all-time favorite setting powder. It took me forever to find a good drugstore setting powder to use. This is only like $6. I bought like four. <laughs> Chai, I love it. I use it on my clients. It's amazing and no flashbacks. So, boo. Get on me. Then I'm going to be using my Ruby Kisses 3D Face Creator. Can't really show it, but that's what I'm going to use to contour, okay? And it's deepest shade. Next, I'm going in with my finishing powder by Maybelline in the color Dark, dark Profonde, just like the palette I just used. Next, I'm going with my NK Perfection Highlighter in the color 24K Gold and just highlight in my face. You feel me? Give it some glow. Give it some shimmer. All that good stuff. That is it for the girls. I'm telling you right now. Child, I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my. Okay. I'm gonna go in with a black eyeliner. Then I'm gonna go in with that really dark berry and poison apple and just put it on my waterline. Next, I'm going to be taking my LA Color Voluminizing Mascara, which is water resistant, and applying it on my lashes. Next, I'm going to be taking my favorite pair of lashes, and it's by Magic Collection. I do have a video on these lashes in the last three Get Ready With Me, but if I find the link, it will be linked down below. These are like the most prettiest lashes I've ever found and they're like five dollars at the new spot. I'm gonna stop her because they're amazing. There's nothing else I can say but they're amazing. <laughs> Glossy. So I'm taking the darkest dark brown from NK Lip Liner. Only lip liner I use. Period. And I'm just going to line my lips. And then I will be taking a Brick by Sugar Butter Lipsticks. These are the only lipsticks I use. Only lipsticks I use. Okay. It's real. Okay. And then I will be using my favorite brand of lip gloss, Is Me. New York and it comes like this it's a really red lip gloss so yes let me pull this here back so I can get myself put together
this face, y'all. Let's hit this face because... So what I'm using to set my face is the Magic Collection Rose Water Hydration Mist. Just to set it. This will keep my face lasting so long. It's like a dupe for the MAC, the MAC Fix Plus Spray, but $12 cheaper. Period. Put you on. Okay, y'all. Cute as slow motions. <laughs> 